What's up guys, it's boy Jay from JS Films and today we're going to talk about the DJI Mavic Air's accessories. Now, I don't go too crazy, I just try to buy the stuff that I actually need. So to begin with, let's just start with the obvious things like extra batteries. Because even though it gets about 20 minutes of flight time or whatever, that depends on how cold the weather is where you're shooting. So that could actually be less if you're shooting it somewhere cold. So just to be sure, go ahead and grab a couple more batteries if need be. Now the second thing that I would grab is extra propellers. I know that the DJI Mavic Air came with an extra propeller, but it's really not that bad to get another set. Because when I went to Iceland, I actually broke two sets of propellers because they're all not the same. They're color coded. The next thing that I grabbed is the Polar Pro ND filters. Now these guys are really good at ND filters, making ND filters for drone. I'm gonna be testing this out this weekend, but I already have it fitted with my Mavic Air, as you can see in this little video I made, uh, which is actually shot with a GH5, uh, GH5S, 240 frames per second. I, I was just testing it out for fun. But yeah, next thing, definitely ND filters, especially if you are shooting outside in the bright sun, in daylight. Another smart thing to get with your DJI Mavic Air or any drones at all is a pair of shade. You can find, I got this $5 in Amazon, but you need this, especially when it's bright outside, to cover your cell phone. Because you need to be able to expose properly on your cell phone, and you need to be able to see what your camera is seeing, really. So in the bright daylight, your cell phone is probably gonna have limited visibility. So it's always smart to get something like this, or just make it yourself if you want. But basically, it's just a little, little cover for your cell phone. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna talk about is memory card. The DJI Mavic Air can hold up to 128 gigs of external memory. Now, before I start talking about this, I, wanna, I just wanna clear some things up. The Mavic Air shoots 100 megabits per second of data rate, okay? Don't get it confused with megabytes. Now, capital MB, that's megabytes. So any micro SD cards that can shoot 60 capital MB or 90 MB, which is megabytes, should work properly. Now, obviously, there's a lot of them out there, but I trust SanDisk Extreme Pro. Uh, that I have a 64 gigabytes, 90 megabytes per second record rate, so that should be good to go. Now, the Mavic Air has internal hard drive. I think it's eight gigabytes, but I really just don't trust it, just in case you crash your drone and you try to retrieve it, and then the memory inside is jacked up. But at least for the internal, I mean, for the external at least, you can probably retrieve it because it's, it's pretty good, it's covered in there real well. So the last thing I'm gonna have you guys look at are range extenders for your remote control. There are lifesavers, but the problem is there's a lot of them out there. The market is just flooded with them, so just make sure that you are getting good quality. Amazon.com is a very good source on getting these range extenders. There's a lot of reviews from other people, and some of them, uh, if you had a Mavic Pro, it might actually work for your Mavic Air as well, so you might not even buy a new one. So if you have any questions, let me know, and see you guys later.